Epic Sciences develops novel liquid biopsy diagnostics to personalize and advance the treatment and management of prostate and breast cancer. For precision insights, clinicians and drug development professionals need holistic views of patient biology, not siloed analytics. Epic Sciences' multi-technology approach provides comprehensive analysis of CTDNA and CTCs from a single blood draw, making it the most actionable personalized liquid biopsy available. Welcome to Comprehensive Cancer Profiling, Single Draw, Multiple Analyses. By combining our proven and proprietary CTC technology with CTDNA and immune cell, we conduct from one sample a multi-parametric single cell analysis of protein expression, cell morphology, and single cell genomics to see the widest biological range of cells with unmatched sensitivity. And using computer vision, comprehensive cancer profiling provides a unique interactive 3D model of the cell population collecting digital pathology to enable individual cell isolation and analysis, finding tumor-related abnormalities within them or within immune cells, and identifying cells other technologies might miss. At the single cell level, comprehensive cancer profiling delivers the clarity needed to make crucial therapeutic decisions that are personalized, proven, and precise. Our laboratory workflow is highly customized and technologically advanced to deliver important answers to our academic and pharma partners, clinicians, and most importantly, our patients when they need it. The following virtual lab tour will give you a personal behind the scenes look at how our lab team diligently delivers on our commitment every day. All clinical specimens are received and accessioned by highly trained laboratory technicians who verify the identity, volume and blood age of the specimen and enter testing information into the laboratory information system. All patient information on the primary blood specimen is verified against the test requisition form before the sample is processed. The total white blood cell count of the specimen is measured, then any derivative samples will be assigned a unique identifier to follow the sample through the entire testing process. In order to maximize every drop of blood in our comprehensive liquid biopsy, plasma is first collected from the blood sample. Cell-free circulating tumor DNA, which arises from the presence of cancer cells, is then extracted from the plasma. Analysis of the circulating tumor DNA can reveal minute changes that will indicate the behavior of a tumor and its likely response to therapy. It's important to note that EPIC's technology has the unique distinction of combining genetic information from circulating tumor DNA with single-cell genomic analysis. Due to tumor heterogeneity, this combination of genomic analysis from circulating tumor DNA and CTC DNA provides important information about the tumor biology that would otherwise be incomplete by examining only the circulating tumor DNA fraction. After the plasma is isolated, the red blood cells are removed. The sample is centrifuged to isolate the white blood cell pellet. The white blood cell fraction is resuspended in buffer, then deposited at a fixed cell density onto glass microscope slides. The cells are then affixed to slides by incubation at a high heat. Slides can be stored frozen to allow processing at a later time. Immunofluorescence staining of the cells on the slide is the first step in our process. Staining various cell structures using antibodies tagged with fluorescent dyes helps to visualize the morphology and biomarker expression on each type of cell. Using this methodology, we're able to zero in and find literally a one in a million type of cell, such as rare tumor cells in a sea of normal white blood cells. Unlike other CTC technologies, we image all cells within the sample to avoid potential cell loss from the enrichment steps. This allows us to thoroughly understand all clinically useful information from the patient's cancer cells that today can only be determined by a tissue biopsy. We perform the cell staining process using automated slide stainers, which can perform staining in a few hours for batches of 50 slides at a time. 
After the immunofluorescent staining and each batch of slides has been completed, the slides are loaded into cassettes that are placed into the next instrument, a high-throughput microscope slide scanner which can automatically scan a batch of 100 slides in a single run. Each slide can be comprehensively scanned from top to bottom in all colours in approximately 20 minutes and automatically uploaded to AWS for analysis. Next, our proprietary computer vision algorithm processes the data from the scanned slide images. The algorithm first flags if there are any issues with the control slides for the user to review. Upon acceptance of the control data, the image viewer presents all of the candidates from the patient's blood sample, which meet the specified CTC criteria. The algorithm saves the precise XY coordinates on the microscope slide for each cell, so that each individual CTC can be found again easily when needed. We can visualize the expression of any biomarker of interest on an individual CTC. In this example, you can see the CTC in the center has been stained red for the biomarker of interest. The slide barcode ID is then scanned and verified that it matches the patient before placing the slide in the microscope queue for isolation of individual cells. Using the Single Cell Isolation System, or SCIS microscope, a single CTC can be isolated from the surface of the slide for downstream molecular analysis, such as DNA sequencing, which can characterize the type of cancer for each individual patient. Using the XY slide coordinates, the target cell can be clearly identified from the surrounding white blood cells. Then a highly trained technical operator directs the ultra-fine capillary of the SCIS microscope to the cell of interest on the slide. Here the cell is visualized as a tiny green dot on the slide, using a specific wavelength of light that excites the fluorophores that label the cell. Using this highly sophisticated process, the single target cell is identified and extracted without contamination from surrounding white blood cells. Sequencing of single cell DNA yields important information regarding genetic amplification or losses. These changes provide important diagnostic information regarding the nature of the tumor reflected in the CTCs. The single cell can be sequenced immediately or it can be stored frozen for processing and analysis at a later time. When the cell is ready to be sequenced, the cellular DNA must first undergo a process called whole genome amplification, or WGA. The WGA method is similar to a molecular Xerox machine and makes multiple identical copies of the cell's genome in order to obtain a sufficient amount of DNA that can be sequenced. Liquid handling robots can be used to automate the plate setup for the WGA process as well as the other downstream processes. During the DNA library preparation process, unique identifiers that act as molecular barcodes are attached to the DNA from each individual patient cell. This intricate process allows us to sequence multiple patients at a time in a single run, while following each patient sample through the entire process and maintaining sample identity. The DNA libraries are normalized for consistency of input and pooled before loading into the sequencing flow cell. Sequencing data from both the individual cells as well as the circulating tumor DNA is then analyzed and incorporated with the biomarker information into the final patient report. We work with each unique client to ensure a clinically actionable time frame for receipt of the report leveraging the opportunity to strengthen therapies for patients and servicing potentially life-changing results. Epic Sciences is the global leader in circulating tumor cell characterization, a label we take great pride in. Our platform and laboratorians are best in class, committed to advancing science and technology that meets the needs of the academic, biopharma and clinical communities. Epic Sciences has evolved and improved its imaging platform consistently since 2012 to increase throughput, sensitivity and efficiency. The Epic Sciences platform has been proven with the analysis of over 403 billion cells from over 33,000 tubes of blood. 
Epic Technology continues to be on the forefront of supreme research and development from leading academic researchers and major pharmaceutical companies. Together, over 68,000 research patient samples have been analyzed from over 30 disease indications. Since the launch of Oncotype DX ARV7 test, EPIC has scanned over 24,000 slides and provided results for over 6,100 prostate patients to oncologists to assist in the direction of the best therapy for these individuals. Our cell classification is not limited by biomarkers. We used 72 image features computed for each cell. We use UMAP dimensionality reduction method to handle this extremely complex data. EPIC continues to productively improve the imaging platform to increase capacity and reduce testing complexity. Each day we are able to help researchers, providers and patients get answers they need to evaluate and improve outcomes. That is a responsibility we don't take lightly. Biopharma partners expect clinical trial studies to be performed according to their statement of work under Good Clinical Practices, GCP, and Good Clinical Laboratory Practices, GCLP. This ensures the accuracy, reproducibility, and traceability of clinical studies. Epic Sciences provides a testing environment that meets the GCP and GCLP requirements as defined for each clinical study. Clinical trial samples are received and uniquely identified to anonymize any sample information and in alignment with HIPAA privacy requirements. Sample testing is performed using released reagents on calibrated maintained equipment by trained laboratory personnel with quality oversight. Testing results are communicated to the biopharma partner at established timeframes. Epic Sciences also maintains a CapClear accredited and licensed laboratory. The CapClear laboratory maintains the high standards required by the College of American Pathologists, CAP, and is licensed to run samples from all 50 states, including New York State. Epic has established a proven framework for producing a laboratory developed test, LDT, as demonstrated by the Oncotype DX. ARV7 Nucleus Detect Test. Physicians order the LDT test and results are provided within the established time frame. All tests are performed by clinical laboratory scientists and the results are reviewed and released by the medical laboratory director pathologists. The data is precisely accurate and remarkably reproducible. Epic Sciences continues to develop new LDTs to meet our customer expectations and realize our mission to extend patient lives by delivering the clarity to guide more effective, life-changing treatment decisions.